Jalen, on this program, we've offered up some really good ideas for Adam Silver about 1 through 16 seeding, giving all the lottery teams the same chance of getting the number one pick. But now our guy, Zach Lowe. Hello. Hello. He is reporting that the NBA is considering, I can't believe I'm saying this, a play-in tournament to get into the playoffs. It's one of the more ridiculous ideas I have ever heard. It solves nothing, and it's just confusing and weird. But just to, just to give the NBA and Zach Lowe their due, here is what the play-in p- tournament would look like if it were to be this year right now. The Sixers would play the Heat, and the winner would get the seventh seed. And then the Pistons would play the Hornets. The winner of that would play the Heat to get the eighth seed. I don't understand what problem they're trying to solve by instituting this. What is happening? Why is this even being considered? I think it's a terrible idea, number one. Number two, I think it's something that will never happen. It's not going to happen. It's just being discussed. And number three, and more important, guess what fans aren't clamoring to see? <laughs> Who wins the eighth seed? A fight for the eighth seed. <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, wow. You mean, oh, guys, 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 everyone come over to my house. We're going to watch some teams play games and then play some more games so they can play games against the number one seed and then lose. And this does nothing about tanking. It does nothing about tanking. Nothing at all. Because the teams that's in the 10th seed, are, there's still teams behind them in the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, those are the teams that are really tanking. So what this does is maybe add a couple interesting games. Like this feels like the baseball playoff wild card game kind of. It just doesn't really even make as much sense as that. This will never happen, right, Jalen? Please make me feel this better. This will never happen. But one thing that can't get overlooked that was really fascinating that took place recently is that we had an owner in Mark Cuban come out and not tell the president of his squad or the general manager of his squad, or even the coach of his squad that they were looking to tank. He actually told this to the players. He told Dr. J. This is unprecedented in the history of NBA basketball. This needs to be fixed. We offered a way to fix it, and this playing tournament will not fix it.